Hi everyone. Hope everybody is having a lovely evening. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to give it just a couple of minutes before we get going with our little, our my first ever um, live children's uh, mindfulness session. So it's just a mini session today, just a little taster session. Um, hopefully um, you'll enjoy it, but you'll, you'll get to know then what to expect if you do come to any of my classes or if you want to join in any other any other sessions. So we've got this one today which is for about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes and then there's another one a little bit later on this evening at half eight and that's for mummies and daddies, grannies, granddads, aunties and uncles, people with no kids um, but for slightly bigger people. Um, and then we've got this session, which is for children and teenagers um, and anybody who, who thinks they might benefit really. Um, so do pop up in the comments and let me know where you are watching from. Um, as I say, we'll just give it another couple of minutes just to let um, people have a chance to, to pop on and join me. Hope everybody is feeling good. I'm feeling really quite nervous um, because I've never, I don't think I've ever gone live before. So it feels a little bit special, but it does feel a little bit nerve wracking. Um, so do be gentle, <laughs> be kind. I think that I will be able to save the video afterwards. So I'll be able to pop it on after for those of you that um, don't get a chance to watch it live. I think I'll be able to share it then to Instagram and YouTube as well, so you'll be able to catch it there um, on all the Relax With Sarah channels. Okay, so I'll just give it one more little minute for anybody else to join in. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I hope everybody is warm and has had a good day at home school or doing whatever it is you've been doing. Uh, again, feel free to pop the comments on. I don't know if I can actually see them. Um, and tell me what you've been doing and say hello. Tell me your names. Okay. So we'll get going then. So this is just, as I say, just a 10, 15 minute session, which we might make a regular thing. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, feel free to put pop them in the comments as well. Um, or send a message. Now today I'm going to base this session on um, the activities that I put together, the activity pack um, that you can get hold of directly from me or some family resources centres, some schools have got them so you could get them from there but if you want the resources um, then you can um, request those um, from me, just send me a message, get your mum and dad to send you send me a message and I will pop those straight over for you. So mindfulness then, I think most of you probably have, have experienced mindfulness at school. Um, I think a lot of schools now are doing the really brilliant job of introducing mindfulness and I bet you've got some of those um, mindfulness tasks set for you on your Google Classroom or on your Seesaw apps or whatever it is that you're using at home now that we're having to stay at home. Um, so all we're going to do, I'm going to work through this, this is the first thing I'm going to show you, This, um, I sh it's, you're going to see it backwards but it's a bookmark, I've printed it out a little bit bigger so that you can see it, but in the resource pack um, there is a little bookmark that you can print off and it's got my top three tips for calm, so that's how we're going to run this um, this little mini mindfulness session that the, um, for today. So the first tip then, the way we're going to start um, to control our um, emotions when sometimes we can feel a bit too excited or a bit too giddy or maybe we're just not ready to settle down in the space that we're in maybe we might be having to do our learning maybe it's bedtime maybe it's dinner time and we're not quite ready to sit down at the table or we're not quite ready to go to bed so these are just some little tips that can really help you to keep um, your emotions and your um, your mood nice and even or for those times when you 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 need to be keeping it even because there are times when it's okay to go a little bit wild, isn't it? You don't have to be calm on the trampoline. 
Um, but sometimes we do need to be a little bit calm. So the first, um, the first step then for me is your breath. So the first thing we're going to concentrate on today is our breathing. And really, really simply, um, I know lots of you have been to my classes, you always say to me, we know how to breathe, you don't need to teach us how to breathe. But there are some really special, simple techniques that can help to keep you calm. So the first thing we're going to do today is just a really simple little breathing exercise and we're going to put our hands on our chest and we're going to breathe all the way in through our nose and all the way out again through our mouth. And we are going to focus on the movement of our chest, our bodies, as the breath comes into the body and again as it goes out again. So we're going to try and keep it really nice and slow. And if there's not too much going on there as well, we're going to try and count. So we'll breathe all the way and I'll count for you. So we're going to breathe in. And breathe out through your nose. And breathe in all the way in again through your nose. And breathe it out. So you should be able to feel your chest and your shoulders and anywhere else in your body that that breath is is moving. So that's two, we're gonna do three more. So breathing all the way in. There's three. You can close your eyes if you want to, sometimes that helps you to focus. All the way in again for breath number four. And breathing all the way out. Breathing all the way in. And all the way out. Okay, well done. So already you've done five really deep, calming breaths. And hopefully, if you pop your hand back on your chest, you'll be able to feel your heart beating. And it should be going nice and slow and you should be feeling nice and calm, hopefully. The next tip is to move your body. Um, because it's really hard to relax and to keep still when you've got all loads of nervous energy, loads of things fizzing around in your body. So a really helpful thing to do, and it might sound a bit silly, but if you need to be calm, move around a little bit first. So maybe in between your lessons, this is a really good one to do. Get up and do a lap of the table. Um, move like your favorite animal. Um, just do a really crazy dance. But for now, because I'm sat here and I don't want to um, jump about and knock the camera, we're just gonna keep it really, really simple. And we're just gonna stretch our arms up as high as we can stretch, reach up high. Really focus on how that feels in your body as well. Stretch out your fingers and see how your fingers feel. Give them a wiggle, stretch them, move them really quickly and really slowly. Stretch them out wide. Reach out as far as you can to the sides. And reach out in front of you as well and see where else you can feel it when your arms and your hands and your fingers are moving. Can you feel it anywhere else in your body? And then we're gonna reach down low as well and see if you can touch your toes. Bend down and see if you can touch your toes with your fingers. Give them a little tickle. So there's tip number two. So we've done our breathing and we've done our movement and we're going to run out of time. <laughs> so the next thing then is our affirmations. Um, sometimes our emotions can get out of control because we're not feeling very good about ourselves. So it's nice to be mindful of, um, with the way that we're talking to ourselves. Um, you will notice that if you say a negative word, you can try it now. Um, the affirmation we're gonna pick, I've picked today, is on the affirmation card here. So it's, I am brilliant. So if you say, I am brilliant, your face even smiles as you're saying it. Now, if we say the opposite of that, and we're, not, we're just gonna do it really quickly now because it's not something we want to focus on, but if you say, I am rubbish, your voice changes and we sound a little bit sad and we sound a little bit grumpy. Um, our face changes, our whole, everything about us changes when we say something that's not quite kind. And it's not true either. Um, and we all know it's not good to lie, is it? 
So we're not going to say those kind of words to ourselves. And the kind of words we are going to say to ourselves are nice, positive, kind words. So we're going to say, I am brilliant. And I want you to say it when you look in the mirror, when you walk past a window, um, when you're brushing your teeth, when you go to sleep, when you're starting your lessons, when you're eating your dinner. Um, every time you start a new task, I just want you to say it. You don't have to say it out loud if you don't want. You can say it just in your head so only you know it. Um, everybody does know it though. So we're going to set practice that now. Are you ready? Three times. I am brilliant. And again. I am brilliant. And again, you can say it in your head if you don't want to. I don't know who's there with you listening. Um, but if you feel a bit silly, you can say it in your head. But try and say it out loud. Just try and say it as loud as you can. Are you ready? One, two, three. I am brilliant. So, absolutely perfect. I can guarantee now that you all feel so much better just by speaking to yourself in a nice, positive way. So we really need to be careful of that, of the way that we speak to each other. And it is one of the best tips that I can give you. Um, you can say nice things about yourself to yourself and make yourself feel so much better. And hey, we mentioned then that you might feel a little bit silly when you're saying these things out loud. But what's wrong with being silly? Um, that's another brilliant um, tip to be able to make yourself feel good and feel better about yourself. Be a little bit silly because quite often everybody is just concerned with what's going on in their own heads. Nobody minds if you're being silly and you might make them feel better about themselves if you can be a little bit silly. And if they hear you being positive and kind to yourself, then they might be kinder to themselves as well. So it will have such a positive impact on your environment and on your day. And we can even take it a step further. So we've told ourselves, I am brilliant. Pass it on. Tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your brother, tell your dog. Um, you are brilliant. And watch how their face changes. Watch how that makes them feel. And just notice how that makes you feel inside as well. When you can say something nice to somebody else and you can change their day and make them feel good about themselves, then that has such a lovely impact on ourselves as well. So we can get something from being kind to other people. So there, there's our affirmations and that's how we can use those. Now the other thing, um, the thing that perhaps... This might be the reason that your mums and dads have, have, may, have asked you to tune in today. Um, is how to be calm. So we're going to just go through a really simple little exercise now. When we lay down in bed at night, sometimes um, we're not quite ready to go to sleep and we don't want to close our eyes and we can need a little, um, a little help. So one really simple way, a really nice one to finish the day off is get yourself nice and comfy and cosy, get your favourite blanket, um, snuggle up under your duvet, get your teddy under your arm, close your eyes, take those nice big deep calming breaths, take some time to really focus on the way that the breath is moving your body and then when you're nice and settled I want you to think of three things. The magic number is three for this activity. So I want you to think of three nice things, three lovely things that happened to you today. And if you're really struggling, then you can think about the day before as well. So think about three nice things that happened to you. And take three more big, nice, deep breaths and really take it in and Think about how those things made you feel. And then when you've got those things, think about the best thing that happened to you today. The best thing, what made today a good day. And think of as many as you can. Take another three nice big deep breaths and think about how those made you feel. 
And then when you've got those nice things, think about something that you learned today. And take another nice, big, three deep breaths. And maybe when you're thinking about the things that you learn, then you can try your affirmation again. Because when you're learning the affirmation we've practiced today, it's absolute proof that you are brilliant because you've learned something today. So I am brilliant and three nice big deep breaths. Tell yourself that you're brilliant with every breath that you take in. Then I want you to think of something that made you laugh. What was funny about today? What made you laugh? And how did that make you feel? Did it make you feel good inside? Did it make you smile? And let your face smile while you laid there in your bed. Focus on how your face feels and what happens to your face when you smile. And keep taking those nice big deep breaths. Keep telling yourself that you're brilliant. Keep focusing on all the lovely things that happened to you today. On the things that you learned, on the things that made you laugh. Keep telling yourself, I am brilliant. I am brilliant. And then finally, just before you're starting to feel like you might be able to drift off to sleep, we're going to think of three things that we're thankful for. So it could be similar to the things that you've already thought about, the good things, the good things about the day, that might be what you're thankful for. It could be your family. It could be the lovely food that you ate. It could be your nice warm blanket that you're wrapped up in when you're laid in bed ready to go to sleep. It could be your favourite teddy. It could be your dog. Anything at all. Just find those things that you're thankful for. And then just before you're ready to close your eyes, take three more nice big deep breaths. Hand on your chest if you want to. Hand on your tummy if you want to. Focus on that motion, focus on your breath. And tell yourself, can you guess? I am brilliant. And keep telling yourself with every single breath that you take until you drift off to sleep. So I'll leave you there for this evening. I will try and save the video so that you can watch it um, at another time or you can share it with somebody if I can get to grips with that technology. Um, I'm sure that I can because I'm going to practice what I preach and obviously I am brilliant. So thank you so much for watching. You are brilliant. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope that you have a brilliant sleep when it's time to go to bed. I hope that you have brilliant dreams and I hope that you have a brilliant day tomorrow and a brilliant rest of the week. I'll see you again soon. Thank you guys. Bye.